<laughs> Which one is it? Well, I'm excited to do both. Obviously, I have uh, a more intimate knowledge about playing tackle, but I do think I have an interesting uh, and valuable perspective for a defensive end that maybe would be different than what a coach would give them because obviously playing the position for so long, I know things that would give me trouble or things that I could see in him that would be giving away maybe some of the moves that he's going to make or maybe just give him some tips on uh, how to improve some of the things that he's trying to do and just kind of the setup and the mindset during a game. Hey, Joe, when Hugh makes a public appearance like that, makes a speech and singles you out, how, how do you react to You that? should have seen my face. I was like, <laughs> did I do something bad when he mentioned my name? Um, but no, it, obviously it feels good um, getting that recognition. Uh, but um, obviously I'm just part of the team and trying to help turn this team into a winner. And I think that's kind of what his point is. It seems like there's an organization-wide effort to lift you into realizing <laughs> Your stated dream of yeah. you know running out there on a playoff game. Uh, you know, if it gives anybody on the team a little bit of motivation, I'm happy to be that guy. Um, but uh, for me, I, I never kind of look at it from that perspective. So I'm I'm always just trying to do everything I can to help the team win. Did this uh, what happened in the off season, yeah, adding the lime and the draft and so on, has it lifted your spirits, Joe? Yeah, I'm excited. I think obviously the offensive line was not um, very good last year. And I think adding a couple guys that we had will help um, not only the, our beginning of the season starting five, but if we do run into a situation like we did last year where you have a couple injuries, you've got guys right now that can step in and be really good players uh, because injuries are going to happen on the offensive line in the NFL. And so having a little bit of a contingency plan and having guys that are able to move around and play different positions well I think will really help us from an offensive standpoint. Nobody talks about right tackle as if that's solidified. How would you handicap that position right now on the contenders battling for that? Well, that's a good question. I think Sean Coleman is probably the guy that uh, they're expecting to be out there starting, and I think he's got all of the ability to do it, but there's just a matter of going out and proving that he can because he hasn't had a lot of NFL action yet, and there is a difference between showing in practice that you can do it and being able to show in a game that you can do it. So um, I think the jury's still out, but he's definitely the favorite. Hey Joe, you know, usually we were asking you about learning a new offense. We actually have Hughes for the second straight year. Is there, do you notice a big difference coming back in the same offense year two? Well, I think for the guys that are younger, it's going to be a big advantage because they're a lot uh, younger in their NFL learning process for a guy that's been around like I have and seen just about every offense the NFL has out there. Uh, learning a new offense is not a big deal, but for those younger guys that really have a hard time and really have to spend a lot of time in their books, learning that new offense, this will give them comfort to be able to kind of uh, drill down into the details of their job. So I think you will see a big improvement. Joe, you've been in part, part of good offensive lines here before, and one of your famous uh, comments was, we can't do it alone, meaning that position group. What's your level of concern about scoring points as we head into this OTA season? Well, I haven't thought about it really deeply just yet because um, we haven't even had a practice. But certainly I'm, I'm uh, very optimistic about the moves that we have made in the offseason, the additions that we have made. And I think uh, Cody Kessler is going to make huge improvement in his second year. And uh, why would you say see those guys out there? What well, I see? see from a quarterback position, um, your first to your second year, I think, is where you make the biggest improvement because when you're a rookie, especially a guy like Cody, who is a third round pick, who is really the third quarterback going into the season, um, he didn't have that whole off season to study the offense. He, he didn't really know what an NFL defense looked like from on the field experience, from being in the meeting room. And he wasn't taking any reps with the first unit, whereas now he's going to be getting probably the majority of the reps with the first team. He's going to be able to spend that whole off season getting comfortable, uh, even further more comfortable in Hughes' offense. And uh, also he was able to spend January, February, March thinking about all the things that happened in their first year and the preparation that went into it and making all those corrections and making those adjustments and those changes in this offseason to prepare for his second season. What is it about his skills or whatever that you think could make him pretty good? Well, I think he's got the uh, sort of the intangibles that you need as a quarterback from the decision making to the intelligence to the desire and the drive. Uh, but also I, I watch him out there and 
He spent a lot of time this offseason working on his arm strength, and it looks like he has improved his uh, zip on the ball. And I'm not a quarterback guru or an expert, but um, to the naked eye, it seems like he's got a stronger arm this season. You've seen a lot of quarterbacks, though. So. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. You yeah. should be able to rate them. Yeah. <laughs> what, what did he show you last year in some of the, the games when he did play? Well, I the think field? Uh, the main thing is the grip and the determination, playing through some of the injuries and some of the hits that he took, and sort of his desire, uh, those intangible leadership qualities that you have to have as a quarterback. Um, I think he showed us all those things, and then it'll be just a matter of Hugh and the quarterback coach getting him in the meeting room and on the practice field, throwing to the guy that they wanted to throw to. Is the vision of how they want to, of how this regime wants to build a team clearer to you this year than it was a year ago? Boy, I haven't thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like maybe the way they wanted to build last year is different than the way they're building this year, whereas last year was outside in, and now I think they realize the importance of quality offensive line, defensive line from the inside out. So maybe that's just a happenstance because of players available in free agency and our needs and things like that. But um, you look at some of the guys that they let go last year in free agency, more of your, you know, your Alex Mack, your tackle, some of those inside guys, and now you're replacing them saying, well, maybe uh, <laughs> we do need those guys. We do need those positions. What did you think also, too, in, uh, in terms of uh, Kessler, like just as a be able to uh, stay healthy? I mean, frankly, that's the, the big thing with him. I think three of the games he, he didn't even finish. These yeah, I, I think a big part of that is um, what we have up front, you know, being able to protect him better, his comfort in the offense, his comfort in his decision making. Those are the things that allow you to not have to take those big hits. Yeah. You know, uh, you look at. Eli Manning, he's more frail than Tony Grossi, but he's never missed a start in his life because he understands when to take those hits, when to throw the ball away, where to lean when you're making a throw that you know you're going to get hit. Protecting yourself, that's more mostly with your decision making. It's not necessarily how big and strong you are because no matter how big and strong you are as a quarterback, unless you're Jamarcus Russell, those guys hitting you are going to be bigger than you and those hits are going to hurt. So it's just, I think, a matter of being smart and I I think that's part of the reason I think it'll be better this year is because it's that process and the, that intelligence that you learn uh, and you understand so much better after having one year under your belt. Did you have any? Uh, did you know Osweiler at all, or have any opinion on him? No, I, I don't really know him, and the only thing I've seen him is you know running around in shorts and uh, lifting in the weight room, and you know he's taller than I am. <laughs> all right.